it is finally the time that you have been waiting for. You've got your laptops open and logged on. You've opened up your Excel spreadsheet. And now we're going to prepare this spreadsheet so we can populate it with our data. So let's begin by highlighting the first five columns. That'd be column A through E. And let's increase, we'll go to Format, Column. We're going to increase the width so that it'll hold the uh, formulas that we're going to want to enter in here. Let's change this to 15. OK. Next, let's put some headings on our columns. So in row one, we're going to entitle this principle. B is rate. C is time. D is interest. And finally, in row or column E, we have our new balance. I like things to look nice and neat and orderly. You all know that about me. So let's center this, fold it. Let's change this to Times New Roman. I just believe that's easier to see. It's in alphabetical order. Let's increase the size of this font to 12. There we go. We have our headings. Now to make it easier to see the difference in the formulas and numbers as we enter them, let's just go down here, highlight all the rows and columns. I went to uh, row 10. Go up to borders and click on the down arrow, the drop down arrow. And let's make it so we have all those lines in there to make it easier to read. To make the headings stand out, I'm going to go back to borders after I've highlighted them and put those in dark. There we go. Now we are ready to begin populating our spreadsheet.